So I was able to go hands-on with the new TouchPal third-party keyboard alpha. And this is what I found. So first of all, you install the app, which is right here, TouchPal. And in the app, there's really nothing there. It just has an about section. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, but the real meat of this is to be found in the settings app and in the general keyboard section. So I'm going to go to settings, general, scroll down to keyboard, then keyboards, and add a new keyboard. Then you'll see a new third-party keyboard section, and this appears after installing the TouchPal app. So all you need to do basically is just tap on that to enable TouchPal keyboard, and you can see it's now on your list of keyboards. So let's go back out, and let's open up a new note. So here's my note. And then I just tap on the uh, little world icon, the language button on the keyboard. And then you can see I can select the TouchPal keyboard just like that. And there it is. That's the TouchPal keyboard. You can see it says TouchPal right on the space bar. So now I can actually swipe to uh, type in uh, words. So I'm going to just say this is Jeff. This is Jeff with, I know it won't get iDownload blog, so um, <laughs> I'll just say with IDB and just tap there. Um, so that is the TouchPal keyboard, ladies and gentlemen. It's still obviously um, a work in progress, but it's very promising. Um, these third-party keyboards are extremely promising. It's actually one of the main things that I loved about Android, the fact that you could have swipe, because it's just such a... Uh, it's just such a much better way of typing and textual input on a touchscreen device. It really doesn't make sense to type on and tap on individual keyboard keys. Uh, with the glass screen surface like this, it's much more efficient to just swipe and insert uh, keys or insert words and, and text like we just saw there. So I'm going to try something else here. Let's say, um, how is it going today. So you can see it performs pretty much like swipe. Um, that is the TouchPal Alpha keyboard, and this will be coming once iOS 8 drops. You'll be able to download this app and then install the third party keyboard as I just showed you. Super simple, super easy. I am so excited about this. It really is going to make typing on iOS so much better. And I'm looking forward to trying the final version. Folks, let me know what you guys think about the TouchPal keyboard down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.